Here on the grounds of the Royal BC Museum in Victoria is a small park with enormous cultural importance. Thunderbird Park was created by the museum in 1940 to display examples of some of the northwest coast's finest totem poles. However, a decade later, the possible decay of these carvings had become a serious concern. The museum hired a native artist to restore old poles and carve new ones. His name was Chief Naka Pencum, but the locals knew him as Mungo Martin. Mungo Martin was a Kwakwakiwak chief born in Fort Rupert at the north end of Vancouver Island. In 1884, when Mungo Martin was four years old, the Canadian government passed a law banning the potlatch ceremony, which was central to First Nations culture. In spite of the law, Martin and others secretly kept the traditions alive. They remembered the stories, dances, and rituals of their people and passed this knowledge on to younger generations. When the potlatch ban was finally dropped from the Indian Act in 1951, many thought the old ways were gone forever, but Mungo Martin proved them wrong. In 1953, he held a public potlatch at Wawaditla, the big house that Martin built at Thunderbird Park as a place where traditional ways could be passed on to future generations. Carvers from many First Nations have worked in and been inspired by the carving studio at Thunderbird Park and have taught their skills in many other communities. Today, for everyone in British Columbia, Thunderbird Park exemplifies the cultural and artistic diversity of the First Nations communities of the West Coast.